What is up YouTube? It's your boy Connor Eilers coming back at you guys with another video. As you guys can see, I'm out on the water and uh, today's kind of a little solo mission. Uh, I didn't have no one to come along with me today so we're going to actually go to the mangroves here by the house. We're in the Florida Keys. We're going to be down here for a few months so uh, stay tuned. We're definitely going to start dropping videos once a week so stay tuned for that. I don't know what day it's going to be yet but uh, here soon I'll let you guys know. So anyways guys, what we're going to be doing today is we're headed out to a little island right here by the house and um, we're going to try to shoot some fish for lunch. I'm getting hungry and uh, I think we can go to an island here and pop some mangrove snapper or whatever else swims near the spear. So uh, stay tuned guys, let's get out there. It's high tide so that's when I usually like to dive these mangroves and uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright y'all, so we made it to the first little spot here and uh, check it out. It's beautiful, this is exactly... This is one of the spots I had in mind. It's a cool little creek here. And uh, let's see if we can shoot some fish, guys. Very, very clear. As you guys can see, the water's going out. So the tide's actually pushing out right now. You want to dive the mangroves on high tide just because, you know, you want to have as much water up in the mangroves as possible. But, yeah, guys, we're going to have to swim a little bit against the current, you know. But it's going to be all right. It looks beautiful. Let's see if we can uh, shoot some fish, guys. Let's hop in here and see what it looks like. Yo. All right, y'all, so as I was putting my gear on right now, I looked over to the right and check out these grovers just swimming through. Pretty sweet. It's a good sign. See them all right there? There's a nice little school of them. I don't know how well y'all could see them, but it looks like there's some decent sized ones in there. So let's hop in, guys, and uh, give it a look. Look at them all. Wow. Pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. All right, you guys, so I'm gearing up right now. Some of you guys may be wondering, like, why are you wearing a suit, bro? And honestly, if I'm being honest, let me show you guys. There's tons, tons of sea lice and other, you know, coral and all types of jellyfish on the bottom. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But um, they actually shoot up, like, venom and stuff like that. I don't know if it's venom. I don't know if that's the right word. But they shoot up stuff and it burns. And I don't really like the feel of that. So, me personally, I wear the wetsuit. Blocks it all out. Take it off when I'm done. And we're good to go. And also... Under these trees, there's a lot of fire core that likes to hang out <clears throat> and grow along these trees. And uh, that stuff can burn too, so it's just always, always good to wear the wetsuit, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, we're going to get in right now. We're gearing up, and we're going to get in. All right, here we go, y'all. Let's hop in. What is up y'all? So we're underwater now. Nice mangrove as you can see comes through darting in and uh, I fired a shot on him. Place a decent shot. I know he's he's hit pretty good so I kind of tug on him, pull him in and uh, yeah then he's ready to brain. As you guys can see I'm in really really shallow water so literally anything that I do just kicks up a ton of dust and um, like I said earlier in the video there are a lot of jellyfish on the bottom and when you do disturb them, they like to, you know, let off that stuff that I was talking about that burns. So, yeah, guys, nice mangrove here. Raining them here, just making sure he's out of his misery as quick as possible. Just for you guys that don't know, that's what I'm doing. And um, one other thing that I'll actually do, if I'm uh, a little bit further from the boat and uh, I'm diving in the shallows, I'll actually put my fish on my string like that. It's pretty, pretty dangerous if you're not in the shallow water. It's still dangerous even if you're in shallow water, but most people wouldn't do this. I'm just really far from the boat, so that's why I did it. And uh, yeah, right here, um, I was just tracking back in the mangroves and a uh, bunch of mangroves. I don't know how well you guys can see them, but they're everywhere. Took a quick shot on that when he came darting in and uh, hit him a little bit high, so you'll see what happens here. Check this one out here, guys. It's kind of funny. <laughs> 
went to go brain him, and as I went to go brain him, he got away. Must have been his lucky day. So as I keep diving this island, I actually push around this corner, and uh, I notice there's a gap in the back of the island that's still filled up with water, and it looks like it could hold some decent fish. So I push back in there, and uh, it's actually very, very, very cool. There's a bunch of nice snappers. It just wouldn't come in range. But very, very interesting, very cool spot. And uh, yeah, it's super shallow. All right, y'all, so we got two mangroves. As you guys saw, one of them got off the spear there. And uh, that's just because he's slippery and he, you know, I went to go brain him to finish him. And uh, slipped out of my hand. But anyways, it was a high shot, so uh, that fish would definitely live. I've caught plenty of them with a, a scar up top from people shooting at them. And, you know, they're getting off like that. But anyways, guys, we got this one mangrove snap here. Perfect size for eating here. This is going to be our lunch today. I'm going to bring them back home. Fillet them up and then we'll cook them up, guys. But this is probably about, let's see here. Yeah, that's about a 15 inch snapper. Not a bad one. There were some bigger ones back in the back, as you guys saw. A ton, a ton of life here at this spot. A lot of small ones, but I was just looking for those big ones to pluck out. We got her done, guys. We got us some nice mangrove snapper. So now let's head back home. Cook them up. You. I'll see you guys at home. All right, you guys. So we have our mangrove snapper here that we shot in the mangroves, as you guys saw. And, uh, how we're going to be cooking them today is we're actually going to be cooking them whole here. We're going to fry this thing whole. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all these little scales off, if you guys can tell. This is what a scale is. Um, basically grab my knife and go like this all the way down the fish, just like so. And uh, all the scales will come off. And then the next step, I will show you guys, I will actually grab my knife and slice just like so. Do three slices on them. And um, I'll show you guys why I do that later on in the video. But stay tuned. I'm going to do all that. And then uh, I'll show you guys when I get done. I'm out here by myself, so that's why I can't record while doing it. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, y'all. So we finished up with the mangrove here. This is what the finished product looks like. Basically took all the scales off this guy and uh, took all his guts out there in the stomach. So he's all cleaned up and ready to go. The next step, what I'm going to do is uh, put it here on this plate. I'm going to grab my knife and make three line slices. I'll show you guys that. And then after that, I got some little batter here that I made. Uh, we're going to throw them in here and then throw them into this fancy fryer we have here. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll show you guys how to slice them up. Let's do it. All right, guys, so these are the slices I was talking about. Basically, it just allows you to be able to pick the meat off a lot easier when we fry them. You guys will see here at the end. But um, next step, we're going to put it into this little batter that I made here and uh, then put them in the fryer. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so I just put him in the bag, shook him up for a minute, and this is how he's looking. This is exactly kind of how you want him to look. So now for the final step, get all that last stuff off of there because you don't want that in your oil. And then we're going to set him right in here. It's a little big for this thing, but it should work. Ooh, that's the sound you want to hear there. And it's cooking exactly what I wanted to cook, the middle of the body. And then later on, I'll get that head in there. But uh, I'll come back to you guys when he's done. All right, y'all. So it's looking exactly how you want it to look. Just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to give it about three more minutes on here. And it should be done. And as you guys can see, I took the other basket out of there just to give it some more room. It's actually working a little bit better. So yeah, guys, we're going to give this a little bit longer. And then it'll be time to eat. Phew. Some good, good food here, guys. All right, you guys, so we have our finished product. We finished up here with the fried mangrove snapper. I came inside because, man, the mosquitoes and noceums are just terrible out there, and they're eating me alive. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's dig in. Let's try the snapper. This is my lunch for today. This is what we hunted for all morning. It's currently 12 o'clock right now. Perfect time for lunch. And, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to eat lunch. So let's dig in, guys. Let's give it a shot. This is a mangrove snapper. This is how it looks absolutely amazing it might freak some of you guys out just because it is a whole fish but it's amazing guys trust me you should try it. as long as you get all those scales off and gut it get all that stuff out it's amazing guys so here we go we're gonna dig in on this first piece here here i'll put it this way for you guys let's give it a shot and like i said i made these slits so it's so easy you grab this you know this meat off the fish you guys will see here right now just gonna dig in just grab it don't be shy Mm. It's the same every time guys It's amazing Wow Look at how beautiful that meat is 
you do have to watch for bones but typically if you grab a piece from the middle you won't get bones wow amazing guys i'm gonna enjoy this i'm gonna go sit on the porch and uh grub it up yeah i just want to say thank you guys if you stayed this far to this video i really appreciate every single one of you guys it means a lot you guys comment and like subscribe all that stuff guys i'm gonna keep pushing out these videos like i said i'm gonna be down here in the keys for a while so stay tuned for that mini seasons coming up so we're gonna be doing some lobster in here soon but yeah guys stay tuned for a ton more videos out here in the florida keys out there on the water love you guys see you guys on the next one make sure y'all subscribe and like you